We are going to be explaining how a nucleoside triphosphate provides energy for DNA synthesis. But first, we're going to be explaining the difference between a nucleotide and a nucleoside. So what we have here are two structures of nucleosides, which means there's a sugar connected to a nitrogenous base. And the sugar can be ribose or deoxyribose. And to go from a nucleoside to a nucleotide, you just add a phosphate group. And to go to a nucleotide to a nucleoside diphosphate, you add two phosphate groups. And to get a nucleoside triphosphate, you just add a third phosphate group. An example of a nucleoside triphosphate is ATP. And for DNA replication, specifically DNTP is used, which just means the sugar is deoxyribose instead of ribose. So now I'm going to explain how nucleotides play a role during DNA replication. So for, in order for DNA replication to even occur, the double helix structure must be pried apart at all times in order to allow the incoming nucleoside triphosphate to form base pairs with each template strand. An incoming nucleoside triphosphate forms a base pair with a partner on the template strand, which is down here on the bottom. The nucleoside triphosphate is covalently attached to the partner-free 3' prime hydroxyl on the growing DNA strand which forms a new DNA strand synthesized to the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The hydrolysis of a phosphate bond in the incoming nucleoside triphosphate is energetically favorable, and the release of the phosphate provides the energy for the polymerization reaction. This yields two molecules of inorganic phosphate. The nucleoside triphosphate bonded together is energetically unfavorable, so when a phosphate group breaks off, the molecule becomes a diphosphate and energy is released. Nucleoside diphosphate is more energetically favorable than nucleoside triphosphate. And in order for this reaction to happen, DNA polymerase is an enzyme that catalyzes the reaction. It helps guide the nucleoside triphosphate and the 5' prime triphosphate side to react with the 3' prime hydroxyl side. And as a result, an inorganic phosphate is released, and the nucleoside, the nucleoside triphosphate is now part of the strand. 